Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about stressing the muscle, okay? Because stressing the muscle is kind of what you're doing when you're training, right? You're stressing the muscle a bit. You're stressing the nervous system. You're stressing the immune system. All of these things come into play when it comes down to recovery. And really what it boils down to is that simplicity is the truth. When you stress a certain area, it adapts. So the question is, what is the most efficient way to stress that area? And I'm sure there's a million different ways to stress an area, but what is the efficient way to do it without hurting yourself? Because too much stress is overkill, and that's when something snaps or you just overtrain or you do not adapt in the way that is suitable for you or maybe positive in some way, right? So one thing I found over the years when I was in the gym is that I found a lot of guys that were very left brain. They'd mark down everything. They keep track of everything and do the sets and reps and stuff. And, and I could see that there's a positive side effect of some of that. I, I could see that there is some use to it. So, you know, some of you guys ask me if I keep track of my reps and stuff. And really what I do is I know what my records are lately with a certain weight, with a certain exercise. So say I'll know I can do 225 on the bench for a set of 30 reps or something like that, or I'll know I can do 185 for a set of 12 to 15 or something like that with shoulder press. So I'll know what these numbers are at the time based on what body fat level I'm at and, and so forth. Because obviously when you're fatter, you can lift more uh, weight and, and that kind of thing. So your body's always changing. But one thing I found was that the people that were too heavily invested in the information but not the intensity didn't get the same result as people that were just really intense and they're saying okay i'm just going to push and use my willpower and stimulate the shit out of the body and then eat like crazy and then sleep and then get back to the gym and just kill it again right i found those guys seem to make more results than the people that were just trying to get the perfect percentages all the time and the perfect weight and i went up my five pounds this week and i found that there's something that was lost there. It's almost like one method didn't have as much of a soul to it. And I'm not trying to beat up on anybody that does keep track because keeping track doesn't mean you don't have a soul. Or anything. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that you want the passion and intensity to also be there because passion and intensity will yield results. That's, that's the thing that's underestimated by a lot of people. That's why you see some guys that are just not training that well. I mean, they're doing things all wrong according to whatever theories that you have going on with your training techniques. So these people are doing shit wrong, they're training wrong, they're eating wrong, but yet they're getting results. And people are like, oh, how is that? And sometimes it's genetics. But one common factor I have seen is intensity and passion. Estimate your intensity and passion. You know, your intensity and passion can be a very strong currency to getting results in the gym. And so then the question is, how do you develop more passion? And one of the ways you can do it is by having fun with your training, having fun with what you're doing in your training at the time, not pushing yourself into areas that are destructive to you because you think you're supposed to, but finding ways to enjoy it. So sometimes I do it like I'll do a workout where I just chase the pump, where I'm just like, screw it, I just wanna hit this angle, that angle, just really have fun with the creative angles and get a really deep burn, a deep pump, and then push that way. And then other days, it might be me slapping a lot of plates on the bar and, and doing heavy, heavy weight if my body feels like it. So intensity and passion. This is a real strong currency for you to develop an awesome championship physique. And I've seen it many times in a lot of people. So don't underestimate it. And when you combine this with some decent amount of information and self-awareness, it's a very, very potent combination. Yeah, pump it, Jason. Yeah, give her shit. Yeah, God, pump, 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 pump. Get a biggity back, big, big, biggity back. Yeah, it's kind of like that. That's, that's kind of what passion looks like in a stupid way.
building, Mount Galanta Lapkis. Mount Galanta Latimus. Building Mount Galanta Latimus. It's hard to say, say that three times. Mount Galanta Latimus. So yeah, I hope this helps you out with your trading. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters and take care for now.